stay dry, then you are very lucky indeed. We've still got some heavy showers for the next couple of hours in the southeast of England. Some difficult travelling conditions before the showers begin to fade away just a little. But there will be some more continuing overnight. You can see there's a lot of cloud heading our way as well. And the next batch of rain will be heading into the northeast of Scotland by the morning time. And that wetter weather tomorrow will work its way down the eastern half of Scotland. It should mean that northern and western areas in particular should turn drier and brighter through the day and maybe even a little bit of sunshine. Not much of that though for the northeast of England. That uh, cloudy, wetter weather will work its way into here through much of the day. It will gradually work its way southwards in through Lincolnshire during the afternoon, eventually down in towards East Anglia as well. So with that cloudy and damp weather here, it's going to feel particularly chilly. Temperatures no better than 13 or 14. For the rest of us, it's not looking too bad. 16 to 18 degrees is on a par with today. And we'll begin the day with uh, some brightness and some sunshine, but still a few showers to begin with. As we run through the day, we'll see those showers developing more widely. And again, across southern parts of England and Wales, we've got to watch out for some heavy, slow-moving downpours, maybe even a rumble or two of thunder in there as well. So a very similar day for many of us. But as we've been uh, suggesting, Monday looks like being the best of a bad bunch. We should lose the cloud and rain from the east coast. There'll still be some cloud and one or two showers dotted about, but most places should be dry. It'll feel a bit warmer, but there's more wet and windy weather on the way during Tuesday. That's it. Goodbye.